This comes after a video made its rounds of Leeds players walking by a group of... Yo, what's going on guys? John here. So I just want to tell you a quick little story about something that I experienced as a fan waiting for players and tell you guys what my thoughts are with respect to the Leeds player reacting this way. So the year is 2017, I had just broken up with my ex and I was absolutely devastated. I was like, I know my life sucked over. <laughs> and I came to my senses and in the fall of that year, I decided to do something nice for myself. So I scraped together whatever money I could and decided to go on a trip to Manchester and visit Old Trafford for the first time. Let me tell you that that first ever journey to Old Trafford is one that I will never forget. It was an unforgettable experience. But that trip was made even extra special because of one thing that happened and allow me to explain. You see, in 2017, Jose Mourinho was the manager of Manchester United and he had star-studded players like Paul Pogba, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He also had Lukaku, some players to name. And for me, making that trek across the Atlantic, it was such a short time that we had to spend. I didn't want to risk a morning waiting outside the outside Carrington to meet the players. I wanted to try and see if there was another way to get a little techie, you know. So I found out another way. You see, at the time, Jose Mourinho, he had instructed all of his players the night before the match to report to the training ground and they would travel together to a hotel in Manchester called the Lowry, probably because Jose Mourinho didn't want his players, you know, with, with their uh, significant others the night before. So he did all told the players to report in and they'd come to a hotel called the Lowry. So I was told my friend who I was traveling with at the time, and if you travel with friends, you save a lot of money. I was like, look, you know, and his flavor player was uh, David De Gea. So I was like, look, if you want to, there's a chance we can meet David De Gea. We just have to go visit. We just have to book one night the night before at the hotel. And I told him the price for the Lowry. And he was like, what the fuck? Fast forward, it's the night before the game. And we've spent the whole day going in and out trying to, you know, figure out what time the players are coming. The security guards and everybody's just really tight lipped for security issues, of course. And then lo and behold, just when we had given up and walked out. A bus pulled up, so I was like, yo, 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 let's go back inside. So we waited right outside the, the main door. And then all of a sudden, they started pulling out gates. They're like, back up, back up. Everybody got super serious. They're like, if you take a phone out and take a picture, we're kicking you out of the Lowry, whatever. And it got super serious. We're like, <gasps> if we could just see them, that's cool enough. You know what I mean? And it was crazy. All of the players, the entire squad walked past us. Rashford walked past us. Uh, uh, Mkhitaryan walked past us. Everybody was walking past us. I was just like, and my, my friend's favorite player, David Gea, was also walking towards us. But there was a young kid, probably around seven, eight years old, who was also there. And he had a David Gea shirt on. He was like, David, David. And apparently the players were, not, were instructed not to talk to the fans. But David came and signed the kid's shirt and took a picture with him. We were gutted. But to see David Gea making a kid's dream come true was an incredible thing to see. And these Leeds players could have done the same. Just saying. The vibes weren't good, but I'm sure the Leeds players can make it up.